Welcome to the College of American Pathologists Direct Transmission eLearning Module. Reviewing, approving, and tracking test results in eLab Solutions Suite. This module will demonstrate how to review, approve, and track proficiency testing, or PT results, transmitted directly to the CAP. On-time reporting of proficiency testing results remains the responsibility of laboratories. Use of direct transmission still requires that you test, submit, and approve result data prior to the due date on the result form. Make sure you have processed your PT kit and specimens according to the CAP guidelines described in the user guide. Wait at least 30 minutes until after the last PT sample was processed by the instrumentation for that specific PT kit for results to transmit to the CAP. Otherwise, your data might not yet be available in eLab Solutions Suite. After logging into eLab Solutions Suite, you can review, approve, and track your PT results. To view all the PT kits and test results you have transmitted directly to the CAP, navigate to the Result Form Data Entry screen. You can either click the link on the eLab Solutions Suite main page, or use the Access eLab Solution Suite menu link. Hover your mouse over the Menu button to open the menu, and then click Result Form Data Entry. The Result Form Data Entry screen appears. If you are authorized to access only one laboratory in eLab Solution Suite, that laboratory's information appears by default. If you are authorized to access multiple laboratories, Click the Lab Selector to select the appropriate laboratory. On the Result Form Data Entry screen, you'll see all the PT kits due within 75 days. The list includes the associated ship date, mailing, kit number, sequence number, status, and CAP number. A status of not received means that the CAP has not received any PT result data for that kit. A status of pending approval means the kit data have been saved and are ready for review and approval. A status of received means that you have successfully reviewed and approved that kit. In this example, one kit is pending approval. To review and approve all the pages within that kit, verify the kit number, then click the row. Below you'll see all the available pages for the kit. For each page you'll see its status, date received, and method of receipt, either fax or online. Remember that page data transmitted within the last 30 minutes might not yet be available. A message reminds you that if the links are disabled, you'll have to check back after a certain time. When one or more pages in a kit are in a pending approval status, the Approve and Submit to CAP button is activated. You would click this button to review and approve all pending pages. If you wanted to review a specific page, you would click the View Edit link for that page. For this example, assume all the pages for which you transmitted data are now pending approval and that you want to review and approve them. Click the Approve and Submit to CAP button. A window with the first page for which you transmitted data is generated. The data appears as though it has been keyed in. But in reality, the data has been electronically transmitted directly from your laboratory. Remember that to approve a kit, you must review and approve all of the pages. A review includes the following steps. Make sure the quantitative results were transmitted correctly in the appropriate response boxes. Make sure all required fields are populated. For example, method, instrument, or reagent codes. If you have to make edits, enter the changes directly into this form, then save your changes. Assume you don't have to make any changes to this page, so use the arrows or drop-down menu to review all other pages one by one. After you have reviewed the last page in the kit and are satisfied that the data is complete, the kit is ready for approval. You must approve the data for it to be evaluated by the CAP. To approve the kit, click the Approve and Submit to CAP button. Click Yes to confirm. If the approval is successful, the Result Form Detail screen status column will display Received 
for that kit. That's it. You have successfully reviewed and approved a kit. Remember that you must review and approve your results by the due dates. eLab Solution Suite provides an audit trail for results submitted via direct transmission. Currently, if you access result entry information for your laboratory, a display will list PT kits in process. The audit trail for PT results submitted via direct transmission will be similar to the audit trail generated if you submit your data online or via fax. At any point, you or another eLab Solution Suite user can track your lab's PT kit review history by clicking the View Kit Transaction History link. The Kit Transaction History pop-up window shows an audit trail for each page in a kit, including each action taken on that page, the date and time of the action, and the ID of the user who performed the action. The ID Lab2PT identifies this action as a direct transmission. Note that the action column will show when a kit was locked and unlocked after the 30-minute waiting period. Finally, a note about patient and PT data privacy. It is important that a laboratory have policies and procedures cautioning or admonishing employees from accessing patient or proficiency reports under CLIA certificates other than the one by which they are employed. Failure to adhere to such prescribed policies and procedures could result in federal sanctions. This concludes the Direct Transmission eLearning Module Reviewing, Approving, and Tracking Test Results in eLab Solution Suite. For additional information about using direct transmission, consult the User Guide.